Hello, welcome back to another episode of the GeoGuessr Daily Challenge. Now it's been two silvers in a row. Unfortunately, yesterday it was pretty tough. I think we had the one China round, which was super hard. Hopefully we don't get one like that today. Okay, so it looks like we're in South Africa. This looks very South African. Uh, it almost looks pretty similar to the round that we had the other day. Uh, maybe it was yesterday. I'm not too sure. Um, we need a little bit more information, though. So let's just head down this way. And, and by that, I mean near Bloemfontein, I believe. Or like, no, it wasn't. That was where I guessed. But it was actually up here in Johannesburg, I believe. Uh, that guy was white. Something to keep in mind. Um, not that there can't be white people in South Africa. It's just probably less common. Um, another white lady on the sign is interesting. I mean, this is part of the game, unfortunately. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to, uh, you know, take any clue you can get. So, all right. William Street, Za. So we are in South Africa. And yes... This makes sense now. Okay. I was getting a little worried that maybe I was tricking myself into thinking uh, this could be Australia or something, even though it didn't really look like it to me. Um, so I'm glad we figured that out. Okay. So we're in Za. We need to figure out if one of these signs has some sort of location. I mean, a lot of Dutch uh, on these signs as well, which is, of course... Tombo. Interesting. Um, Dutch is common for South Africa, is what I was going to say before I got, uh, you know, very distracted there. Um, Clerksdorp. <laughs> I mean, what are these names, man? That's funny. You have to admit, Clerksdorp, that's a funny name. That's funny to me, at least. If you're Dutch, you probably don't think it's funny. Or if you're South African, maybe you still think it's funny. I mean, come on, that's pretty funny. Clerk's Dorp. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's not leave this commercial area. I feel like this is our best chance of finding uh, some good info. Putting it in the center of South Africa like I did is probably our best hedge for now. A lot of urban areas around there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm um, also not seeing what I would expect to see. And this is interesting. It's Mozambique, uh, you know, the country right next to South Africa over this side. So I'm wondering, um, right, this is Mozambique. Wondering how close we might be to it. Um, I guess anywhere in South Africa is probably close enough. We're out of time, though. I actually spoke too much this round. So let's just hope I'm right. Clerk's door. Uh, okay. It was there, actually. It was pretty big. I just didn't manage to see it or bother looking for it, but we lost exactly 500 points. Not too bad at all. And Clerksdorp was the location. Okay, second one here. We have blue on this license plate, and it's white. Uh, long, I mean. Uh, it's going to be the EU. This looked initially to me like some sort of gray, sad-looking Russia round, but uh, I guess not since we have the blue, but uh, I'm not fully sure here. Uh, we do have blue on a lot of these, but we also have some Cyrillic. Ukraine, uh, I don't think Ukraine has EU license plates. They have a uh, Ukrainian flag on their license plate, which does show up looking blue sometimes, but not as blue and obvious as a lot of these other ones are. So this is interesting. Um, MK, Macedonia, that's an interesting one. That's an interesting one because I didn't even think of it, um, to be honest with you. I don't, man, it's been a long time. I don't even remember the last time we actually had a Macedonia around. Um, so I guess it makes sense it's not in my recent memory, uh, but where? Skopje, I guess, uh, is probably the most likely location here. It's a pretty large urban center, um, I would like to see what's on that sign because that's probably going to clue me into where we might be. Let's turn around and look at it from this direction. And we can't see it there either. Wonderful. One more. One more little step. Nope. We're apparently just crossing the street. All right. Other signs. Other signs would be great. Uh, I like what I'm seeing here is a big mall with... Uh, here, here, we can read these ones. 
uh, municipality carpos and military hospital. So first thing I'm scanning for a carpos. Don't see one, right? Uh, then we're going to look within here and see if we see carpos, um, which, well, it just doesn't look like it. Um, not from a first viewing, at least. Um, carpos is not visible so we need to keep looking um we see this big mall Sco oh skopje city mall actually i think i think if i correct me if i'm wrong uh, for those who have been here a while watching my videos a while we have seen this very mall before and someone pointed out that it was like hey you missed the big mall that said skopje city mall um so there you go now i saw it um Yellow here, City Trade Center. Yellow means commercial, so that's why I'm looking at only the yellow buildings mostly. Uh, unfortunately, not seeing the city mall. It's probably around here. It's like something like this, one of these big intersections. Uh, close enough, though, right? Okay, we're just across town. To the west, Skopje City Mall then would be over here. Which direction did I go? No, it's here. I went kind of northeast. All right. And there's Karpos. Uh, not bad at all. Not bad at all. I feel very good about that. All right, next up, 11 points lost. Ooh, this is an interesting one. We're driving on the left. We have a white and black striped curbs. This could be uh, Malaysia or Singapore. Uh, probably not Singapore because it doesn't look as densely populated as you'd expect. But that's not always... That is not always something, uh, an, an indicator. I, we are in Singapore anyway. Uh, these are highways that are in Singapore. The TPE, the SLE, they're always three letters, right? Um, TPE, SLE here. You should have one. So that's one thing to look for, for sure. Uh, you should, I believe, is... Oh, I remember seeing you should, but I don't remember where. Not Woodlands, obviously. Oh, Yishun's right up here. Yishun Ave 1. The SLE towards Yishun Ave 1 is to the north. Hold on. This is good. This is good. This is good. Um, Silatar West Link, Yishun Ave 1. Heading... Hmm. Heading on to it. Um, maybe over here-ish. This could, this could be a good, and then do we have the part that goes on as well? It kind of looks like this is where we are right now. And we have another thing that goes over top, which makes sense as well. It's this. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is definitely the intersection. Uh, I'm pretty sure, at least. And we're just right here. Let's lock in. Yeah, perfect. 5K. Don't need to do any more than that. All right, next up. Here, um... Martier, C carton, plastic, ah, uh, Soreni. I mean, these names, this language, it seems kind of French, kind of Spanish at first, kind of whatever. It's Romanian. Uh, romance language, very similar to the two. Well, because they're romance languages. Uh, but yes, that makes sense. And then, of course, seeing this, I was like, ah, oh, that sounds Romanian to me. So we're in Romania. Okay, Soreni. Uh, is the name of the town that we're in. It's probably too small to find on the map, it looks like. Uh, so, we might... See, I don't want to leave the town. If I leave the town, I might be out in the middle of nowhere for a while. But this is useful. If we find a sign 19 kilometers away towards a maybe larger city, this could help a lot. Um, so, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to set a checkpoint... Because I forgot the name of our town. So I got to really quickly go back and see it. Um, Soreni. And here in Caracal. Okay, Soreni and Caracal to look for. Um, let's keep looking. Oh, it's literally right there. It was like the second thing that I looked at. So Caracal is to uh, what looks to be our north. Um, but let's just look all around it. Soreni is going to be small. But how small? right uh, also you don't know for sure if it means north or if it 
maybe says it's like there and then to the east or something. You never know. Pristina? No. Sina? Vicina? Sina? I see Sina. That's all I can say, obviously. Not very useful, that sign. So Lenny, I believe, is the name of the place that we are. So it's a matter of which direction and where from. Unfortunately, it appears pretty difficult to find this one little place. Um, I want to say it's to the north just because of the way it's pointing, but also there's not much space down here. Just like kind of looking along all these roads in here, it's just nothing, not even anything really with an S, and if it does have an S, it's totally different. So strange. So Lenny, so Latina? That wasn't what it said, was it? I gotta go back again, man. Uh, 14 seconds, so Lenny, okay. Uh, anyway, I didn't see it. Uh, I would have remembered. So, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it on here. We're 19 kilometers away either way. We're not going to lose too many points. And yeah, it was right down here. So, it ain't so small that I would have had to super zoom to see it. Very, very difficult. Anyway, we only lost 65 points. Final round here. Illusion. Internet. Libreria. So, looks like we got some Spanish. Looks like we have a roof rack and like a, what do you call this? cobbled i wanted to call it cobbled but i know it's not cobbled kind of streets um i don't know guatemala it's uh like 99 percent sure it's guatemala there's the weird you know small chance that it's somewhere in the dominican republic because that has a roof rack but it feels a lot more to me like Guatemala so we need to find GT there you go um Sede Salama might be the name of Salama might be the name of where we are it sounds like Sede I mean I think means like branch of it like in this case would be branch of the university and then Salama would refer to the town name. So I think that's going to be the name that we're going to be looking for. But I would like maybe a little more information about maybe what region we're in. Uh, Salama. Let me not forget it. Salama. 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 Yeah. Uh, Salama. There it is. Um. I can make a song out of that. <laughs> Salama. Salama, salama, salama. Um, so. Minute 16. I do need to start looking soon, but I am just kind of poking around, hoping to find a region name, because I have a feeling this place is not huge. So there's the shape of something that isn't the shape of Guatemala itself, but possibly the shape of a region, which I like to see. Uh, let's put one down just in case, and say... I don't know, somewhere in here. I think seeing that actually made me less likely to find it because now I'm looking for that shape rather than the name. So maybe I don't look for that. Okay, let's quickly just do a Salama sweep here. Just everywhere looking around. I'm going to leave it near Guatemala City. City. We're up in the mountains, so it's going to be up here somewhere, probably. Um, at least that's how it feels. 16 seconds. I really hope we're not super north. Salama, 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 salama. Eh, eh. Yeah, nothing. Oh, there it is. Found it. <laughs> last second uh three points lost wow okay i almost didn't find it i was having a little too much fun there but uh wow okay very nice Twenty four thousand four hundred twenty one is going to be our score today much much better than the last two days and really not a hard round to speak of uh you know south africa was a little bit difficult there but, but actually wasn't i had clerk's dorp the entire like half the time half the time i didn't even look 
uh, Singapore, Singapore. Romania, we found that city. It was very lucky. And then Macedonia, it's just the capital. Guatemala is Guatemala. Very nice. Let's see where we ended up on the scoreboard. Today could be good. Yeah, top uh, top 25. Exactly 25th. Uh, we'll probably fall a little bit, but that feels good to be back on top. Anyway, that's going to do it. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe for daily GeoGuessr videos. Leave a comment. Let me know how you did on today's daily, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.